what is up guys so in this video we're going to start logging in our users so they can actually use our app first of all let me start up the express server and the react server too i gotta go into the directory and then run the command All right, so right now when we click this, nothing happens. We want it to be so when we click this, the user's redirected to our server and they start the authentication process. So if you remember, the path to start the authentication process was slash auth slash Google. So let's redirect them there. So let's head over to the sign up component and when they click the button, the form is submitted and right now, this is where we're gonna redirect them so let's create a string with the url of the server and we're gonna store the server url in the environment variables i we'll want to access the path slash off slash google so in react when you make an environment variable it needs to have the prefix react underscore app. So let's, it's going to be localhost 4000, our server. And now we have the URL, so we can call window.open with the string. And we want to specify that. We want it to open in the same tab, so we um, the second parameter is underscore self. All right, so when we click this, it's going to redirect us to the login with Google screen. After we log in with Google, it's going to redirect us back to here. And right now, our server is just responding with basically like a string of the user information, but we don't want to do that. We want to redirect them back to React. So we're going to do res.redirect. And if you remember in the last episodes, we have the environment variables already set up. So process.environment.client URL. And we're not using the request variable, so let's specify that. And we don't need this anymore. So once we're authenticated, they're redirected back to um, React, and the cookie is sent is set on the browser. So after the cookie set on the browser, we want to send a request from React to the server to get our um, account information so we could store that in the, in the user context, which we set up in the last episodes. So let's go to the index router and create a route where we can get our account information. So router.get, we're going to call it uh, slash account. And taking a request and response and we're just going to send a json with the request.user and we want to protect this route so what i mean is we don't want just random people going to this route and accessing it we want it to be only accessible to the people who are logged in so let's create a middleware that makes sure that the user is logged in so make a new file called is auth.js and let's make a function called is auth. Takes in a request, a response, and the next function, just like every middleware does. So we want to see if there is a user in request.user, which passport session sets for us. We want to call the next middleware. So send the request to the next uh, next middleware in the line. If there's no user, they're not logged in. So we just want to send them a JSON object. That basically says um, logged in is false. So you're not logged in. And let's import that middleware. Or actually, we need to export it from this file. So we'll do module.exports is off. And let's import it here. And before this request, we want to run the is auth middleware. 
All right, so they log in, they go to our server, they're redirected back to React, and we set up the path that they would access to get their account information. So in React, we want to send a request to our server at slash account. And we want to do this every time the React app starts for the first time. So when we first see that first login screen, we want to get, um, we want to send a request to the server, see if we're already logged in. So to do that, we can use the use effect hook in our um, user context component. So let's do that use effect. And the dependencies is an empty array. If you didn't know how use effect works is it runs this, whatever this function is, every time the component renders. But before it does that, it checks if anything in this array has changed. And if it has not changed, it does not run this function. So if this array is empty, it only runs the first time when the array is initialized. After that, it doesn't run anymore. So this is going to run every time the app starts for the first time. So here we're going to want to fetch, send a fetch request to the uh, URL of our server, which is accessible from our environment variables. And we want to specify in the options that we want to send over the credentials. Basically, that means we want to send our cookie to the server. Any cookies we got, we want to send them over. So then Express Session can get our cookie and get our session. Then, so it returns a promise. We get, get a request, I mean a response. We want it to be in JSON. Then we got our data. And now we can set user to whatever the data has inside. And we can console log the data. So let's go back in our server, in our index router. We're sending over the user. But actually, we want to specify, tell the user that they're logged in. So um, let's create this uh, object called user, and it's going to have everything that request our user has, plus a logged in property set to true, and this is what we want to send over. All right, so let's test it out. Hopefully, there's no bugs. All right, let's. Oh, almost forgot. We have to restart our React server when we every time we change the environment variables. So let's go in here. We restarted the server. All right, so we log in. And there's an error. Oh, I forgot to specify it's at slash account. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we're actually already logged in. Let's delete our cookies so we can go through the whole process. Like if we were just signing up right now. So we see the when we first um, refreshed and we had no cookies, the server sent us back a response of logged in false, and that's what our user is set to now. So when we log in, this is our user, which has the ID in the database, the image, logged in true, and the username. So now we got our users logged in. And if, in case you forgot, over here in, um, what is it, app, I think. Right. So if the user logged in is true, we're just going to, we're rendering logged in. And if they're not, we're rendering sign up. So every time we refresh, we're logged in.
and if you notice there's like a flicker on the screen because that's the request going through because every time we re we uh refresh if you remember this is being defaulted to false so this um where was it okay so sign up is being rendered for like while this is still false this is rendering until the request goes through so if you want to fix that and just stay tuned because we're going to do that right now so if the user logged in is equals to null we can just render nothing and if it's not then we can check So if it's null, if it's null, we render nothing. If it's not null, we then check, is it true? If it's true, we render logged in. And if it's false, which is the last option in this uh, ternary chain, it will just render sign up. So now we initialize logged in to be null while the request is still going through. That's gonna take off the flickering. No more flickering. All right, so we got our users logged in. Next episode, we're gonna start uh, working on the nav bar and what the user sees when they're logged in so thanks for watching i'll see you next time